Hi, meteorologist Peter Hall. Here's your NBC3 forecast as we take a look ahead. Your fast cast. Well, I don't need four minutes to tell you that it's going to be miserable today, but I have four minutes to fill, so I will talk about today and what's happening next. Well, today's going to be drizzly. This morning, it's around 50, which is normal for June 1st in the morning, but 55 is 20 degrees below normal for the first day of June. It's going to feel like the first day of November, not the first day of June. Not much improvement really over the next 24 hours, which puts this Monday in the murky, miserable category. Great. Words you don't like to hear when describing a forecast. Murky, miserable, gloomy, Monday. raw. Monday. That was Lisa. So you can send the email to her. We look ahead. We do have some slightly better weather, although it's not like all of a sudden tomorrow's like, woo, great. No, it, eh, it's, a, it's a, a smidge better. It's still going to be overcast in the morning. We're going to try to get some sun out in the afternoon. I wouldn't go crazy about Tuesday's weather either. Finally back to normal on Wednesday, although starting colder because of clearing and fog, you'll see it will get better in the afternoon. Here's your future weather with Futurecast, and we're basically going nowhere today. This morning, it was about 50 with drizzle. At 10 a.m., it's drizzle and periods of rain and about 50. We look at noon. It's cloudy with drizzle and about 50. Not much change. How about this afternoon? Still cloudy, still struggling in the low to mid 50s. It's one of those days. Overcast tonight with drizzle and fog, not much change. So that means tomorrow morning, it's still drizzly and foggy with cloud cover. Now during the afternoon, there's some hope that it's a bit better, but not until late in the afternoon. It's still overcast through noon probably. Watch the clock and watch the silvery skies that we have. There are some holes popping up here later in the afternoon, so we'll try for some breaks of sunshine. Overnight Tuesday night, what you see behind me is actually some fog. I think the fog, which will be in the area, especially the deeper valleys, will burn off and then it becomes partly to mostly sunny. And with sunshine, we're looking for a high temperature in the afternoon, 70 to 75. Obviously, with cloud cover, drizzle and fog, it's not a great day to do some boating. And if you also incorporate the waves on Lake Ontario, we have had, at least during the overnight and early morning, northeasterlies at 20 knots. So the waves over the middle of the lake, four feet. Now the wind and wave action will come down a little bit in the afternoon to about 10 knots in the afternoon, two foot waves later in the afternoon. That's still not great. Over Nida Lake, northeasterlies at 10 to 15 knots, waves two feet or less. Finger Lakes, we have north to northwest wind at five to 12 knots and a wave action of about a foot. UV index will be as low as low can get. Sunshine today, big goose egg, zippo. No sun today. At least we have very long days in summer. So I am calling for a third of the amount of sun, but that's probably at max we get a third. And I'm assuming that the sun is late in the day. 90% sunshine though on Wednesday, that's better. The threat for additional drizzle and light rain is 90% on Monday. A one in three chance of drizzle after sunrise Tuesday. Not gonna rain Wednesday. There's a southern system we're watching for Thursday and Friday with a chance of a shower. The amount of cloud cover and showers will be ultimately impactful on how much cloud cover we have and of course temperatures for the taste of Syracuse on Friday will keep you posted. I'm meteorologist Peter Hall anytime anywhere. CNYCentral.com.